you know, having a very aggressive dog and having a dog trainer to work with it is a lot of liability for us. You know, we're, you know, we're putting, we're putting ourselves on the line to be able to work with aggressive dogs. Now, I work with quite a few aggressive dogs. I'm not going to say that I work with the most aggressive dogs that I've ever seen, but I do see some pretty aggressive dogs. Like, here's the thing. If you have an aggressive dog, the cost for the training isn't going to be in the several hundred dollars. It's, it's probably going to be closer to a thousand to two thousand maybe even three thousand dollars for the type of training that you're going to need to go through for that dog um just to just to kind of be blunt a little bit or maybe to be clear on you know my process for this you know over the years as we've been working these aggressive dogs and really been learning about how to help them but also to protect ourselves I'm absolutely in, in favor of remote collar training for you know the, for the folks to learn how to use a remote collar and for the dog to undergo uh, remote collar training because that really seems to me to be changing their minds about these aggressive acts that they're doing um, and then helping them to actually become a much calmer dog. Yes, there's a lot of other training tools out there and positive reinforcement does have a lot to do with rehabilitating these dogs, but in keeping them safe, muzzle training, and also remote collar training for these dogs is particularly important. You know, I tell people this, and I tell my clients all the time, when a dog says that, hey, I'm gonna come after you, human, and, um, and I'm going to basically hurt you in the worst way possible, having to change that kind of mindset um, in that instant when the dog is having that thought is not particularly is, is not particularly nice. It actually has to be fairly firm for the dog to understand that a human um, should you should not be aggressive towards humans and definitely not be uh, not being aggressive towards dogs. Now there are techniques out there that I can't condone where a dog could actually get injured, but for these aggressive dogs having having a situation where they decide to become aggressive towards a dog or towards another person and the dog fundamentally becoming uncomfortable actually is a pretty big learning moment for the dog to establish a boundary that I just can't act the way that I've been acting. Now, this isn't the training that you're gonna do for all dogs and you shouldn't take this training lightly. If you don't know, if you, if you have an aggressive dog and you're trying to do it yourself, it's probably best to enlist the, the help of a professional to be able to help you, if not to send your dog to a professional to do the rehabilitation uh, for these aggressive dogs. But, but if you have an aggressive dog, the training for it um, is, not inexpen is not inexpensive. It tends to be $1,000 or more because of, of everything that goes into it, the equipment, the time that the trainer has to spend, um, and, so, and so forth and so on. So, but if you have an aggressive dog, there is help. I'm definitely willing to come and help you with your aggressive dog if you happen to be struggling with that.